Now, over the last few years, a lot of attention has been placed on the importance of sports development amongst our young people. In February, the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation and the South African Rugby Legends Association announced that they have teamed up to give young underprivileged South Africans um, a great sporting opportunity, as long as they've got the abilities to back it up. And that is all coming together in the St. Devote Tournament in Monaco. The under-12 rugby team from Orchards Primary School, who we were introduced to a moment ago, Welcome to the tournament by the Princess and Prince of Monaco on Saturday. Now, we are very happy to have joining us on the line the Secretary General of the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation, Anye Falco. A very good morning. Good morning, and thank you so much for welcoming the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation today. Oh, it is our absolute pleasure. When you are doing things like this for South African youth, it is our absolute pleasure. Talk to me a little bit about the relationship between Monaco and South Africa. How did this tournament, how did this relationship come about? Yes, first of all, let me tell you that we're very excited about this program and about welcoming those 12 South African children in Monaco. The, the whole idea basically started with a meeting between Gavin Vajit, the president of the Sala, and uh, Garrett Winston and her three the Princess Charlene. And the princess wanted to establish a very strong link between uh, young rugby players from South Africa and from Monaco so that uh, they can learn from each other. And that's why our foundation decided to support this fantastic project. Um, the first time is going to be this year, and uh, it's going to be one of the, uh, the 2015 projects in the uh, sports and education program. So basically, underprivileged children from South Africa uh, who have been identified for their rugby skills have been invited through a partnership uh, with Sala to participate in our Sense Devos rugby tournament in Monaco. And in addition to that, the children from both nations will participate in programs enhancing the, 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 and developing the cultural differences. And they will visit some famous places in Monaco, such as the Osteocracus Museum, the Palace, and other places in South of France. So the foundation not only will host those children, but will also send some South African young uh, rugby players to South Africa in, uh, in the summer. Now we know... I'm so happy that Princess Charlene has still got her love of rugby, but of course we know her own sporting background and how much of a driving force she's been in South African sport. Why is it so important? Why is the foundation focusing on sport as a developmental tool? Why is it so important for young people? The foundation is, is focusing on sports, but also and especially on swimming, and also on trying to save children's lives from drowning. As you know, for the princess, swimming is very important, and she often says that she wouldn't be who she is today without sport and without swimming. So we've got, roughly speaking, 40 programs around the world, and we try to reach and save children's lives through Learn to Swim program and water safety programs. And last year, we reached 40,000 children across the world. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I was going to ask and now, so what is the next phase? What, what's on the horizon for the foundation and, and in terms of your relationship with South Africa? What are your plans, your dreams? The dream would be to have more and more projects, just like this one, trying to create links between South Africa and Monaco, obviously around rugby, but also around swimming. We've got some amazing people who are working with us on the ground in South Africa, um, and, and we want to, to have more programs around sports, around education. If I recall correctly, Nelson Mandela thought that sport can change and unite people. And I think it's very true. And that through those values, we're trying to create more awareness and trying to develop for those young uh, children respect, team spirit, honesty, um, interaction, communication, so that they become great adults. And we want to do that, obviously, in South Africa, in Monaco, and in other places. Well, thank you so much for your efforts. This really is an amazing opportunity for what looks like a fantastic group of kids. Calvin looks like an absolute gem. Thank you so much. Please pass our best on to Princess Charlene and the rest of your team. You guys are doing amazing work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. With our pleasure. Thank you. Well, an incredible, inspirational story there, Calvin. And again, to the Orchards primary team, all the best in the St. Devote tournament, flying that South African flag. We're going to take a very quick ad break back in the kitchen on the other side.